So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to clone our main drive. And the main drive on this computer is an NVMe drive. And we're going to upgrade to a larger, faster model. And we're going to use Samsung Magician in order to do this. Now you can use a whole host of different options, but as the title of this video shows, it's the Samsung Magician that we're using. So we have our NVMe drive and we have this little Orico Caddy here. It's going to allow me to connect this via USB 3.0 and this is a type C connector here and it's going to allow me to connect this externally to the computer so that I can clone the drive onto this NVMe drive here. So we're just going to slide it in sort of like you would do with laptop RAM. It's going to be at a little bit of a uh, angle and then we have this little screw here and we're going to put it in here. So we have this situated in here and this actually has a heat sink on it and I've tried this before it does get pretty hot but it'll slide right in and then you just use the the USB connector there and then we can hook this up to the computer and clone the operating system drive on here. So now we're going to go to data migration. And the source drive, it knows what the source drive is because this is the only process that it will do. It'll take the main drive, your C drive in this case, and it will, you're able to clone that. The target drive is not selected. You're gonna to have to select that yourself. So select a drive here. As you can see, I have a whole host of SSDs in this computer, but we're going to be choosing the Samsung SSD 980 Pro 2 terabyte. This is a fourth generation NVMe, so it's faster than the third generation that is running this PC at the moment. So I'm gonna click that. Now you may notice that this process has already been done here. Originally, I was going to do this, and life happened, and I wasn't able to complete the process. So I decided I'll make a video of the process, because I haven't done that in a long time. And I also have done some Windows updates since the original clone happened. But if you have a situation where you have a blank drive here, you wouldn't have anything on it. And then if you're doing like I'm doing, you would have a situation where you have a drive that has been already used, and you're just going to wipe it. So I'm going to hit start here, and it's going to say that uh, the computer is going to shut down automatically after the data migration for 20 seconds. Uh, when the cloning starts, all data on the target drive will be deleted and cannot be recovered. So it's just a fail safe to make sure that you're doing the right drive, because again, it's going to delete everything if you made a mistake. So let's hit OK here, and it's going to give me a process here. You may notice that obviously the C drive is my main operating system drive here. And uh, the G drive is the one that we cloned everything over to. Uh, this process took approximately 25 minutes. Your mileage is going to vary depending on how you have your drive connected and also uh, how much of uh, data you have on your, your original drive that you're cloning from. Um, I wasn't there for the entire process, but the estimated time that it gave me was approximately 25 minutes. And uh, it seemed to line up with that when I went back to the room and the computer was shut down. So everything is ready to go. Um, the only things I have to do now are I have to open up the computer. I'm going to take this drive. I'm going to swap it with this drive. And I'm going to take this drive and wipe it clean and then put it back into the machine. Now there are two NVMe slots on this motherboard. So I'm going to use this one as the, the operating system drive because it's faster and it's bigger and it's the newest one. Uh, that's what the whole, this whole process is about. And then I'm going to use this as a secondary drive because it's faster than any of the other drives in here. I'm also going to be putting in a 10 terabyte hard drive into this and I'm going to be removing two of these drives. Not this one, this is a two terabyte, so we're going to keep it in there, but we're going to remove drives E and F. I'm going to have to uh, uninstall these programs and reinstall them, but they're going to be replaced with a four terabyte SSD, which is going to more than make up for the lost space here. So let's get the NVMe drive out of this little caddy here. It kind of slides back like so. 
And then we have to take this little screw out. And there we go. So I've removed the graphics card and what I have to do is I have to remove this shield here and then these two heat sinks here. The NVMe that's already installed is under here and this one is empty so I'm going to move this one, actually move it out of here for now, put the new one in here and then I'm going to have to put the graphics card back in. I'm going to have to fire it up, make sure that everything works with this installation. And if everything works, then I can wipe the other drive by putting it into the little caddy that uh, we were using before uh, to actually clone that drive. And then um, what I'll have to do is take the graphics card out again and install the other NVMe in here and then I'll have I can button up this part of the process this is going to be the most time consuming part of this upgrade so let me get to that all right so we have completed this process here so over here in devices and drives in this PC everything is much neater than I had it before so we have the new drive, the fourth gen NVMe. We have the old drive, the third gen NVMe that's been reformatted. Then we have the new uh, four terabyte drive here, and we have a new 10 terabyte drive here. This is a hard drive, of course. It's not, it wouldn't be a, an SSD. And this is uh, one of the old drives that we had in here already. And we removed two of the other ones. So I have a lot more space on here. And for the Samsung Magician, I think it worked for the, you know, the limited uh, uh, function that you would want out of it. It did a good job. I have no complaints with it. It, it cloned my my operating system drive onto the new drive and it uh, did a good job at that. So uh, if you wanted it for anything beyond that, you probably would have to look for other software. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you wanna help out this channel, you can give me a thumbs up. You can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can actually join my Patreon all of which is greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.